Oh wow. This is really cool. It's a rock lobster. Rock lobster. Doom, 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 doom. Rock lobster. Is this the guy from uh, Moana? Cool. That's cool. Doom, 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 we have no idea how old this thing is. That'd be crazy. Nate, see. Did you know that it's really hard to discern the age of a lobster because every time they're in a shed, their organs become new. That thing is huge. So this thing could be a hundred years old. This thing could be fifty years old. No one knows. All we know is that eventually. Uh, Lobsters get so big that they can't shed anymore and they die. Did you know that? Did you know it, Gavin? Lobsters do live a very long time, but they're, they are not immortal. Because eventually they get so big that they can't even shed anymore and they die. They shed about once a year. Like that. Oh, these are anemones. Oh my god, it was dead. Um, Look at it, it's Oh, that's a flounder. That's a flounder? Yes. I thought that was a frogfish. No, frogfish are different. <laughs> oh, yes, look at that. Yeah. yeah. No, I was talking about How the dark. Thinking? Oh, that's another one right there. Hidden, How come it's hidden. a different color? Uh, it's, it's camouflage. It's sand dab. I think it's over here. I can't get a good view of everything. It's butter sole. That's the one on the ground that that one you're taking pictures of. It's a Pacific sand dab. I'm, I'm trying to... Yeah. Oh, you're talking about that one. I thought you talking about this big blue. I'm trying to record everything, but look at that brilliant blue sea star over there. Yeah, I saw it. That one is what is the emerald? That sea star is fuzzy. Isn't he kind of looking like he has mushrooms on his head? Yeah, those are his eyes. Oh, there's a sea star back there. There's a sea star back there. Over there. Right there too, and it's all fuzzy. Yeah. I like it. It is really hard to record these creatures. Yeah, I know. I'm. Did you see the sea anemones? Yep. I recorded them too. Oh my gosh! More eels! I love these! Did you know that more eels have a second set of jaws at the back of their head, that, the back of their throat? Look, he's smiling! California moray. He's smiling. Did you know they have a second set of teeth at the back of their throat that they usually grab their prey and want to bite them? Moray. California moray. No, what are the holes on them? Oh, those are gills. No, back here. Oh, that's a cloaca. I don't know, but look at this one. This one's being creepy. That's, yeah, the, cre that's the creepy uncle cool. right there. <laughs> they do look creepy. Actually, look the at holes. This thing. That looks to be. Uh, is this sea urchin? Is it fake? No, I don't think it's fake. I think it's such a. Because you know they have those holes on the sides of their heads to be aerodynamic or hydrodynamic. They 
They look like statues. These are really cool. He's smiling. Look at him. They all look like they're smiling. He's smiling at me. I love him so much. Yeah, he's staring you. right at us. I love you. I'm sorry if this is all over the place, guys. It's just that there's so many people in the way. Ooh, that is, that looks like, uh, actually that looks a lot like a main lobster, doesn't it? No, but it's probably not. All these fish are the little proboscises. That is an American lobster, which can be found in Maine. Newfoundland, Canada, North Carolina, Louisiana. I don't see this thing though. Oh. Uh, I found an anemone. A plumos anemone. This pink algae all over the place. Rainbow surf perch. Oh man, this kelp looks. Oh my god, that's a shark. That's really cool. I think some of these are bamboo sharks. Did you know that bamboo sharks, during their juvenile life, they can go up on land, yeah. and they're also very endangered. That is really cool. I really like the pattern on them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so no wait, that is wait, is that a bamboo shark? I think that is a bamboo shark. Those other sharks are not. This is a bamboo shark. And yes, they do sleep. They say sharks don't sleep. Oh no, some sharks don't, but some sharks also do. They're inconsistent like that. Ooh, that's a sea star right there. And a sea urchin. Ooh, red sea urchin. See that one at the ground? That is a bamboo shark. Sometimes they go up on land. What kinds of fish are these? Cardinal fish. And boar fish. What if it settles me that there's just a piece of piping floating? Yeah, it's not floating. Okay. It's providing the tank with oxygen. What spiky thing? Oh, that's a sea urchin. They need help. And also, there are some sea urchins that are edible. It's a red rock crab. It's a rock crab. I am so far loving this visit. 
kind kind of started off iffy, you know, with the uh, with the whole car sick situation earlier, you know. But it's it's picking up really well. Oh yeah, that little sea star. Uh, no, stonefish are more camouflaged than that, and also they would be on the ground. You right, right. Stonefish would look more like a stone, wouldn't you think? Yeah. Oh, these are mussels here. Oh, look at those. This, one. this one's open. Yeah. See it sticking out there? It's filter feeding. Yes. And look at those huge anatomies right there. Amazing. Now, that one right there, that big orange one right there, that is a type of stonefish. I think it could be a frogfish. That orange one right there, you see it? No, up there. Oh. I thought you were talking about these ones right here. Yeah. Look at that one. It's got its tentacles out or its whatever, its tethers out. Oh, yeah, those are uh, siphons. Who look on the side of this rock? There's a big sea star. Oh, you're right. I'm going to stand where I am. That is a really big sea star right there. There's a big old eel or something back there. That is another type of moray. Isn't that the same kind of anemone that was on that SpongeBob episode? Did you know the anemone that was waving around was actually native? Also, rarely, very rarely on some occasions, CNMAs can detach from their spot and wiggle around to get to a safer place. Did you know that? Yeah. So they're not completely immobile. Sometimes they detach themselves from the rock. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. Oh, that is a sea anemone and a half. That is a huge one right there. Ooh. Tasmanian king crab is right there. No, wait, that's a rock. That's the king crab right there, sorry. No, look back behind it. Oh, that's, that's the king a, crab. That's the king crab. That's insane. That's a big fish right there. Not as big as the other ones we've seen. Well, I need to see that. Hold on, I want to try to take it first. I can't. Hold on. Well, it says no flash photography. Yeah. It says no flash photography. Come on. Oh. Also, I want to record it. Come on. Oh my god, that crab is huge. Spider crab, spider crab. No, that's not a spider crab right there. But that king crab is ginormous. Carrier crab is the orange one. Yeah, that's a Japanese. Japanese carrier crab is that orange one in front. And that is the Tasmanian king crab. Oh man. Imagine how many people that king crab could feed. Sea anemones. And a fish. No flash photography again. Yeah. 
there's lots of condensation on this. This is cold. This water is cold, man. These are really big sea anemones right here. Oh, look at that long fish right there. Why is the water so cold? Uh, probably because it's their natural habitat. They're supposed to be deeper in the ocean. A spotted ratfish. There's supposed to be isopod. There's an isopod in the back. Right in the back, you see them against the wall. They're isopods. Yeah. We almost passed by the isopods. He asked me about that the other day. Oh, the said, what are those giant things that look like those? Freaking isopods. Can't really capture it with the crappy camera. But they're there. Oh, yeah, the orange one. There's a bigger one behind it, too. You see it? That's the Tasmanian king crab. That's probably why they look so sad, because people keep doing that in front of them. That's a huge sea anemone right there. Ooh. There's an oceanarium over there. Hey, there's another exhibit over there. The Abbott Oceanarium. I think you have to go up there. But wouldn't that be worth it to see a giant aquarium full of ocean fish? Well, yeah, but let's see what you have here first. Oh, that's full of mussels and stuff. There's supposed to be an alligator pipe fish around here. I know, look at the sea spinner. I was really hoping this would be a big blue button. Look at these. Alligators are seahorses. Seahorses! The females lay eggs in the male's pouch, and then the male pushes the babies out. No, oh, I love seahorses. They are the only species where the male gives birth. You see how engorged that one's pouch is? Could be a pregnant male. See that one over there? Yeah, I see. That could be a pregnant male right there, and it would spout thousands of babies. I know. And they would all flow to the surface. And then they would regain consciousness and fall back down. Oh my god, they're so pretty. Yeah, and very slow as well. What's in here? There's a and there's those, what is that, a pipe fish or whatever you said? Oh yeah, that, wait, that striped one, that is different. There it Dragon is. Fit that is a pipe fish. Look. A banded pipe fish. Dragon face pipe fish too. That striped one is a banded pipe fish. Look, there's a touchstone. Oh, awesome. No, 
look at that green one. Maybe oh, every yeah. time's that. Well, maybe that's why your phone just kept all the space. Uh, right there. Oh, it's laid in Dragonette. Oh, well, maybe that's why your phone just kept all the No, I'm not at the car. Oh, no, no, no. I need to record. Oh, hey, a sea slug. Right there, sticking straight up. That has yellow stripes on it. I see it. That could be a sea cucumber, though. Oh my god, that little hermit crab. It'll get bigger. Ooh, that striped one right there is a banded pipefish. Mm. What kinds are these? Mom, look. This little one, this one that's a little one of the spots is like trying to eat stuff. It's like eating stuff. It's like stuff. Oh, there's a clownfish with anemones. Yeah, I told you. That's cool. All of these are really cool. Oh, look at these little fish right there. Oh, there's a touch soap. Okay, hold on. This concludes, like, uh, part, I'd say, two. I think. No, wait, this is part three. Ah, oh, dang it. Anyways, this concludes part three. Bye.